I'm Lori Morper. I'm a zoo educator here at Happy Hollow Park and Zoo. I'm responsible for conducting much of our on-site and off-site education programming. I also get to work with our American alligator, Bayou. American alligators are a cool species for Happy Hollow Park and Zoo to have on exhibit because they have an awesome conservation comeback story. At one point in time, American alligators were considered to be endangered species. Due to overhunting and habitat destruction, their populations declined greatly. Conservation efforts were started to bring back the population. Fortunately, the American alligator is no longer considered an endangered species. A fun fact that many people wouldn't know about alligators is that the female alligator is actually an amazing mother. If you can imagine that strong jaw that's capable of crushing animals, holding delicate little babies inside of its mouth, or carry them on their back to get them across the water. Mothers will watch their young up to six months to even a year of their lives. American alligators have up to 80 teeth in their mouth at any given time. But unlike you and I, if we lose a tooth, we won't get that tooth back. An American alligator will regrow its tooth. So they're continually losing teeth and regrowing new teeth. So they always have those 80 teeth for chomping and tearing. American alligators have been known to hold their breath for up to two hours while laying deep in the water. Many people ask us what's the difference between an alligator and a crocodile. There are quite a few differences actually, but the ones we talk about the most are the shape of the snout. An alligator's snout is in the shape of a U, whereas a crocodile's snout is in the shape of a V. If you look at an alligator's snout, you're more likely only going to see one set of teeth as opposed to both sets of teeth interlocking. Whereas if you look at the snout of a crocodile, you'll notice that you can see both the top set of teeth and the bottom set of teeth. And those teeth almost interlock with one another. Another difference between alligators and crocodiles is that alligators are primarily found in fresh water. They are found in bodies of water like rivers and streams and crocodiles can be found in both fresh water and salt water. Bayou, our alligator, came to us as a rescue. He was actually found in a lake and he had been dumped there by someone who had hatched them in their home. California Fish and Wildlife found him and needed to give him a place to live forever. So eventually he made his way here to Happy Hollow and this will be his forever home. He was used in our education programs and even went off-site with us to schools and libraries. As he got too big to use in our education programs, we started to train him to eventually become an exhibit animal. And now he is going to become part of the zoo collection as an exhibit animal. We train our alligator for a variety of reasons that have to do with safety for the alligator and the people working with the alligator, as well as enrichment for the alligator. We are able to perform veterinary procedures or perform simple husbandry with the animal choosing to do what we need it to do and not causing the alligator to be stressed or to become aggressive and it allows us to work more smoothly and efficiently with the animal when they are actively participating with what we need them to do. Enrichment is something that we might give to an animal that would stimulate their instincts or their senses or give them a chance to exercise. So training does all of this for our alligator. Training gives the alligator a chance to use his senses to get around and exercise himself and it gives them a chance to do some of the things that he might do in the wild.